this is Mahmudasan Maharaj. Welcome to another solution tutorial of Soilus. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view, this is the top view and this is the right side view. First of all, I will start drawing from the top view. In the top view, I will draw a rectangle. And this rectangle has a dimension of 184 by 82 unit. Then I will extrapolate it to 17 unit. Okay, let's start. I am selecting the top plane. Now sketch. Now selecting the center rectangle, now placing the center rectangle to the origin. Now dimension it to 184 by 82 unit. Now isometric it for a better view. Now go to features and now stood boss. Now stood boss it to 17 unit. Now press OK. Then after that, we will then draw this semicircle portion this semicircle portion has a dimension of radius 35 and it has a stood boss of 52 unit and we can see we have another small semicircle here and this small semicircle portion has a radius of 16 unit and it has been stood, stood boss up to this surface and stood boss up to this surface okay let's draw these two part so for drawing these two part i'm selecting the right plane now sketch and now normal to it now select the circle and draw a circle here and this circle is 35 radius so it will be 35 multiplied by 2 okay after that we need we now need to dimension it for dimensioning it select this my dimension option so in here we can see this circle here is has a dimension from this line is 80 plus 42 plus 18 unit okay so i'm selecting this circle and this line and now dimension it to 80 plus 42 plus 18 unit okay now press okay now we need to make it a semicircle for this i'm selecting this line now convert into this now select the trim option and trim all the unnecessary line that we don't need now press okay now isometric it for a better view now go to features now stood boss now stood boss it to 52 unit and now select from the mid plane now press ok so after that we now need to draw the small semicircle for that i am again selecting the right plane now sketch now normal to it now select circle and place the circle to the previous center now draw a circle of 16 multiplied by 2 diameter okay so this circle also need to be semicircle so i am selecting this line now converting into this now trim option now trimming all unnecessary part now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features now is to boss as i have told we need to extrude boss up to surface so up to surface select this surface now again select addition to now select up to surface now select the this surface now press ok now isometric it for a better view now in here we can see we have we will now draw this portion for doing this portion in the top view i will first convert into this line then i will offset this line of 42 unit then i will extrude boss it to 62 minus 17 unit okay so i'm selecting this face now sketch now normal to it after that selecting this line uh, and now convert into this now offset into this now select this line uh, reverse the direction dimension it to 42 unit now select the cap end now select line now press ok now isometric it for a better view now go to features now stood boss now stood boss it to 62 minus 17 unit now press ok so after that we now i will draw okay let's see i will draw this portion first for drawing this portion you can see the total dimension from here to here is 42 plus 18 unit but this portion is 42 unit so we can see that 42 plus 18 unit minus 42 unit so this portion will be 18 unit so first of all i will draw a line of here 18, 18 unit here then i will draw a 
do a rectangle like here and this rectangle has a as this unit is 18 units so this dimension will be 18 multiplied by 2 unit okay so after doing this rectangle i'll draw a semicircle here and as i also draw another rectangle here then i'll draw a semicircle here then i will extrude boss it i will extrude boss it here you can see we have extrude boss of 39 unit okay so i'm doing this so i'm selecting this face now sketch now normal to it now select the corner rectangle now place the corner rectangle here now dimension it to 42 plus 18 unit minus 42 unit so it will be gradually 18 unit now this dimension is um, double dimension of radius so 18 multiplied by 2 so it will be 36 unit so after that uh, we, we can corner image uh, again draw another corner circle here and this corner circle is 42 plus 18 unit minus 42 unit and it has a dimension of 18 multiplied by 2 unit now select the circle and place the circle to here and draw a circle and again place another circle here and draw another circle now select the trim option and trim all the unnecessary part okay i have trimmed all the unnecessary part now press ok now isometric it for a better view now go to features and now is to boss now is to boss it to 39 unit now press ok so after that we have gotten the fundamental shape of our uh, 3d model now it's time for doing all the extrude cut portion now first i will start doing the extrude cut from this here here you can see this semicircle has a radius of 10 unit and then i will close the shape like this way then i will extrude cut it to through all like okay then after that i will draw another semicircle portion like here and this semicircle portion has a dimension of 27 radius then i will close the shape and then i will then i will extrude cut it to 36 unit okay i am selecting the right plane now sketch now normal to it now after selecting that now select the circle and place the circle to the previous center okay and this circle has a diameter radius of 10 unit so it will be diameter of 20 after that now select the line tool now it's time for closing the shape so i am closing the shape okay after close the shape now select the trim entities and trim all the unnecessary line that we don't need now press ok now isometric it for a better view now go to features now is to cut uh, i will is to cut it to through all both now press ok now this time i will select the right plane again now sketch now normal to it now select the circle and place the circle to the previous origin and this time we'll draw a circle of 27 radius okay after doing this circle now select the line uh, tools now it is time for closing the shape okay i am going to closing the shape okay we have closed the shape now it's time for trimming the unnecessary part so select the trim it is now trim all the unnecessary part that we don't need okay now press okay now isometric it for a better view after that now go to features now is to cut now is to cut it to 36 unit okay this time the extrude cut will be from the mid plane now press ok for a better way you can select the section view so so that we can see how our sketch is going okay it is going well now this time i will now we can see in here in this two portion we have to extrude hole in here and here this is to extrude hole a dimension of m18 and it will be extrude cut it to 27 and thread cut it to be 24 okay so i am selecting the hole widget option here and from the hole widget option now select this option and here select the m20 and select the bind uh, select the blind in the blind uh, put the dimension 
here you can see we need to put a dimension to 27 unit and from the thread select put the dimension to 24 unit now select the position now select, use the 3d sketch now position it to the previous origin okay again position it to the previous origin okay now press ok so we can see we have gotten our extra cut here now I submit it for a better view you can see with a better section view what we have done okay now this time we will extra cut and this time we will extra cut this portion for extra cut it extra cutting this portion we can we need to first look out some factor in the top view you can see and the gap between this portion and the gap between this portion is 82 minus 66 divided by 2 unit 82 minus 62 66 divided by 2 unit so this portion will be dimension this unit and in the right view we can see this upper portion has a dimension of 6 unit we also assuming this lower portion also have a dimension of 6 unit okay so for doing this portion i'll select the back part here and now sketch it now normal to it and you can see i will select the center rectangle and place the center rectangle to the origin okay place the center rectangle to the origin to the center okay center rectangle to the center now draw a center rectangle now we will dimension it as we have seen that from this side to this side it has a dimension of 82 minus 66 divided by 2 unit so it is 8 unit so in the other side it will also have the same dimension the 8 unit dimension okay now in the upper face and lower face we have a dimension of 6 unit so we am selecting this two line and now dimension it to 6 unit so dimension it to 6 unit and also select this portion and this the lower part and now dimension it to 6 unit okay we have dimensioned it properly now isometric it for a better view now it's time for extrude cut here we should look out this extrude cut portion has a 36 unit extrude cut so we will use the 36 unit extrude cut so go to features and now extrude cut now extrude cut it to 36 unit okay 36 unit now press ok we have done our extra cut portion here now I submit it for a better view now another thing we have another extra cut circle in here you can see we have another extra cut circle and this extra cut circle uh, is in this side okay and this extra cut circle has a dimension of 20 unit and it has a distance of 43 unit from the bottom and from the side it has a distance of 18 unit so I am selecting this face here now sketch now normal to it after that now select a circle and place a circle here and dimension the circle to 20 diameter after dimensioning the circle to 20 diameter now select this one dimension option and from the side it has a dimension of 18 unit okay dimension it to 18 unit and from the okay for a better view okay and from the bottom you can see it has a dimension of 43 unit okay it has a dimension of 43 unit now okay so now i submit it for a better view now go to features now is to cut now we need to extrude cut this two now select up to surface as you cut this two up to this surface now press ok now i submit it for a better view ok it has been done now we need to do all the fillet for doing all the fillet we can see first uh, here in the inside here in the both inside we can see it has a radius of 4 unit and in the outside here and here it has a radius of 6 unit 
and also in the outside portion of here here it has a radius of 6 unit so we need to fillet all those portion for filleting this portion now selecting the fillet option here and in the fillet option now dimension it to 4 unit and in the 4 unit now rotate it and select this inner line and also rotate it uh, okay and select this inner line now press ok okay now I symmetric it for a better view now go to fillet again now dimension to 6 unit now and now select this upper line and also rotate it you, you can select this upper line this line and this portion now press ok now I symmetric it for a better view so as we can see we have done our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end here we can see we have to draw the m18 thread per hole but we have drawn the m20 hole so we need to edit these features and edit these features to m18 okay edit these features to m18 now press ok Okay, thank you for watching till the end. Thanks for watching and keep learning. Be different.